Well, good morning, fifth grade. This is your spelling test for uh, list 32. I think in the book I put list 31 that you're supposed to take that today, but I think you guys can figure out that we've been doing list 32, so that should be your list. All right, so I'm going to read the sentence. You can pause it after the first time, and then when you need me to uh, hear it again the second time, you can go ahead and hit play again. Uh, but don't go back after the second time to go write that sentence. So it says, number one, will this colossal cake be adequate for the affluent woman's appetite? Will this colossal cake be adequate for the affluent woman's appetite? Number two, James. James. Number three, casual. Casual. Number four, persistent. Persistent. Number five, precise. Precise. Number six, gracious. Gracious. Number seven, corrupt. Corrupt. Number eight, adaptable. Adaptable. Number nine, inquisitive. Inquisitive. Number 10, extraordinary. Extraordinary. Number 11, Hebrews. Hebrews. Number 12, emphatic. Emphatic. Number 13, indefinitely. Indefinitely. Number 14, identical. Identical. Number 15, frequent. Frequent. Number 16, first and second Peter. First and second Peter. Number 17, hospitable. Hospitable. Number 18, admirable. Admirable. Number 19, convenient. Convenient. Number 20, deluxe. Deluxe. Number 21, brilliant. Brilliant. Don't forget uh, abbreviations for the things that need abbreviations. And uh, put that in your envelope for Monday. And we look forward to uh, the next list next week, in verse, uh, list 33. Have a good day. Bye.